building the fire ring. Locate a flat, even surface to build your fire ring. Use eight blocks to build the first layer. After laying out all blocks using a level, verify all the blocks are level. Shim if necessary. For propane models, on the first layer, leave 1 8 inch head joints between the blocks. Do not grout between the blocks. When starting the second layer, stagger the blocks to the first layer. Use 8 blocks to build the second layer. When starting the top layer, stagger blocks to the layer below. Use 7 full blocks and 1 half block to build the top layer. Stagger 4 heat shield retaining brackets, the longer brackets, on the top layer of blocks. Place the block cover over the open block. Place heat shield on the retaining brackets in the center of the fire ring. The supply line will need to run vertical through the heat shield in the center of the fire ring up to where you will connect it to the gas regulator using a half inch flared flex line. There is a one inch hole in the heat shield for the gas line. Stagger the four burner retainer brackets, the shorter brackets, on the top layer of blocks. Connect the incoming gas line to the regulator before placing the burner system into place. Place the burner system on the retainer brackets in the center of the fire ring with the controls going through the opening in the blocks. Do not grab the burner system by the burner tubes. Hang the lava retaining bracket between the opening on the two stones. Installing the lava rock. Lava rock comes with the burner system in two boxes. Lava rocks range in size. Begin by placing the smaller rocks between the burner tubes filling the whole pan in a single layer of rocks. Avoid placing rocks on the pilot shield. They will obstruct the view of the pilot when you go to light the pilot. You may want to light the pilot first before adding the lava rock. Place larger rocks in a second layer in a smaller circle in the center of the fire ring. Lastly, place the largest rocks in the center making a TP formation. Light the burner. Some of the rocks may need to be adjusted to allow the flames to come through. Place the concrete cap on the top layer of blocks. There are four pieces. Insert the access door into the hole. Your setup is complete.